Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Power to come on out on the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Chomont. And I got a rant for you today. But before we jump in, remember, we're still doing this contest. Best slogan that I can attach to Rudy's Rant. Right now, I think the leader one is facts over feelings, baby. That's looking good right now. But give me a few more. I'm going to pop them up on the page and leave it for a vote. But I like this facts over feelings thing. It it, it, it rides with me. I I feel it in here, in my gut, which has to get smaller because I've gained too much damn weight. (laughs) Anyhow, folks, thank you for supporting our channel. And uh, be sure to pound that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell. Share this video. Topic of the day. Topic of this rant. Woo, woo, woo. Angel Reese, how are you, my dear? We've missed you. And then, of course, you are so lovely and so wonderful that you provide us with new things to talk about. I love it. You're never one to disappoint. It was Angel Reese who said, don't sexualize me. I'm receiving these types of threats on my new podcast. But over and over again, don't sexualize me while posting video of her private areas on social media, constant photos of herself in nearly no clothing. And then on top of that, then of course you have her also claiming that she doesn't do anything on her social media. Her manager handles it. So, Angel Reese, the person who's not on social, who doesn't control her social, who has things randomly posted, and says, don't sexualize me. Well, what does Angel Reese do? She rocks this, and she posts it on social. Let's go back. The front of it says mother, right? Wait, 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 wait. What is this? The back says fucker? So she's wearing a t-shirt that says, or a top that says motherfucker, okay? And then she's wearing a thong or whatever this is, ass cheeks all out, see-through stuff. But she's going to sit here and she's going to tell you, do not sexualize me. That is not a nice thing to do. Don't sexualize me. Stop it. I don't like that. It's mean. Miss me with the bull junk. Miss me with the bull junk. We've got to listen to her. For how long? Play the role of victim. Victim, victim, victim. She's taking her voice back with the podcast. She's doing X, Y, Z with the podcast while interviewing basketball players and rappers. And I'm going to get into that Dwayne Wade interview because I saw a clip from that thing that I didn't see the podcast. I watched the, I, I saw a clip and I will be talking about that clip separately. Because I want, I, I I just flabbergasted by how much of a simp Dwayne Wade has become, and I'm a Miami Heat fan. But to sit there and watch him keep his mouth closed when she made some comments about some things that I will talk about just blew me away. But this is a situation where this woman has been sitting here. She cried to America after LSU lost. She talked about how unhappy her life was. She talked about the comments that she receives. She talked about how she's been sexualized, yet all she does is post sexual content on her pages. Claims that she doesn't post up on her pages. Well, unless her agent or manager or whoever would want to get fired, I am sure everything that's been posted on her personal Instagram 
is hers and been approved. But she'll sit here and she'll tell you what she wants you to know. But let's go back and let's take a look at something. Let's talk about this don't sexualize me behavior. As we see here, this is where you see this outfit. I am sorry. I have to share this with you first. Uh, hmm. As you see here, this is where we see this outfit. This is her her Instagram. I mean, Lord have mercy. If that was my if I if that was my daughter wearing that, I'd lose my damn mind. I, I'm sorry. I would lose my damn mind. You must be crazy. Then we get to move into more of this. Don't sexualize me material. I don't know what the hell this outfit is right here. I mean, this thing is up on her ass. So you can imagine what it looks like when she's standing. Oh, okay. Wait, we, we got one right here. That's the wrong one. My apologies. Right here. Boom, boom, boom. Right here. I mean, can you wear a little, a smaller pair of short shorts? And then finally, let's get to this next one right here. This is what you wear to a basketball game. No, this is not appropriate in any world. What job would you wear this to? What job? Stripper? Call girl? Bartender in a club, you wouldn't even wear this to a to a regular bar. Yeah, it's cute. This isn't an appropriate outfit to wear to a job. Here, how about this one right here? Another one. Don't sexualize me. What the hell is this? Like, what is this? Again, to a job. Who wears like who would wear this? It is flabbergasting to see someone who cries about certain things, and yet all she does is post suggestive material all over social media. But I guess she'll blame somebody for this. I guess it's her manager's fault or someone's fault. It's damn sure not hers, apparently. I'm sorry. Like, this is the content that's on her social media. And you might say I'm a fucking hater. You might call me whatever name you want to call me. But I'm sorry. When you sit here and talk about, I don't want to be sexualized, and this is the bullshit you posted, and you think this is appropriate, you're, like, at least have some level, semblance of professionalism. Have some semblance of professionalism. That's all. Is it too hard to ask? You ask for something, you complain about something, and yet your behavior is exactly the opposite of that something that you complain about. You're a hypocrite. It's obvious. You're a hypocrite. You like to complain. You think no one will notice. You'll have your group of people that will defend you no matter what you do. But hey, this is par for the course when it comes to Angel Reese. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you got to think about this. I'm sure there'll be some people that'll tell me I'm out of my mind that I'm an asshole, whatever. Call me an asshole. I'm cool with it. If I had a daughter and she posted this crap on social media, I'd lose my damn mind. Let alone posting and wearing a t-shirt that says motherfucker on it. Come on, man. Come on now. Let me know your thoughts. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment and ring that bell. Pound that like button. Come on now.